Welcome back guys. So we're here with another comparison, putting the Pixel 3 XL up against the Sony RX100. This is the Mark 5A. Right, we're recording, we are ready to roll. We've got our rig set up. We're about to find out, can the Sony RX point and shoot still beat pixels? Or have cell phones finally surpassed point and shoots? Let's get out there, get some footage. All right, so let's just do a general walk test here. I've got these on a tripod, so I'm trying to stabilize them as much as possible. However, I can tell you from what I've seen in the past, the RX just really doesn't have the best stabilization, especially when we're shooting in 4K like we are right now. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, sorry for the shake. So we're shooting everything in default picture profiles, no color gradings going on when we're comparing these two today. Uh, we're gonna go out, get some HDR footage. We'll do some 4K examples, we'll do some slow motion, we'll do some low light, and then we'll also do picture examples. So we're not just gonna compare video, but we'll also compare pictures, figure out which one of these two is better. All right, so let's do a test really quick here. So the sun's behind me right now. We've got pretty blown out backgrounds. Let's see how the two compare with a little bit of HDR. How do they expose my face? Do they figure out what they want to focus on? Well, are we losing focus on either of them? What's going on? Let's also see how the audio sounds. We've got some cars in the background here. Let's also see how the audio sounds. We've got some cars in the background here. So they just improved the pixel audio. We had another video comparing it to the iPhone where it actually pretty much kept up with it. Make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. All right, so this is one of my more favorite spots to film. Also, let's see how the background does right now. Is it gonna blow it out or expose my face properly? Let's compare the Google to the RX and then let's get some photos. All right, so one big advantage obviously with the point and shoot is we've got this great zoom range on it. Bear with me while we zoom in here. Uh, this is obviously optical zoom, and then on the pixel, we're gonna zoom here as well, digital. So, how do the two stack up? Is the pixel software doing a good job at trying to make the zoom look good, considering it's all digital? All right, so as we're headed down to the beach here, let's stop really quick and talk about some key differences between these two devices. Obviously sensor size, we've got a much bigger sensor on the Sony RX here. So I would expect it's gonna have better picture quality. However, it's really a battle of hardware versus software here. We've got a lot of software at work here over on the Pixel. It's got a touch screen. On the RX, we do have the flip out screen, which is nice. We're using the rear facing cameras today. That's all we're gonna use. I'm not gonna mess with the front facing cameras at all. Um, so the flip out screen is obviously nice. I can see what I'm doing. The Pixel does allow external audio, whereas the RX has no external audio. So you're only gonna get this audio quality out of it and nothing better. Let's head down to the beach. I really don't want to do a stabilization test because I just know how bad the RX is going to do, but uh, I think we have to. So let's do a quick run test. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and guess the RX lost, but uh, we'll find out for sure. All right, so what we're gonna do now are a few exposure tests. We're gonna see how these do with dynamic range. We've got the morning sun, there's no clouds in the way. Um, and figure out, can it expose for my face? Is it gonna lose track? We've seen the Pixel sometimes have issues as it's very bright, if it can track my face. I can tell you right now, it looks like the RX is not exposing my face properly. Um, the background looks definitely compensated for. My face is just really dark. Might be able to edit that in post, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and turn around now so the sun's gonna point right at my face. Should be well exposed. Curious to see how things look and just kind of keep rotating around here. 
How's the quality look? How's the audio sound? Not too much background noise or ambient noise around me, so uh, audio should be pretty good. This should be a real world example of about arm's length away. How are things gonna sound? Just circling around, and again, the hardest shot. So we're gonna have the sun on right at my back now. Beautiful scenery down at the beach here today. How's the exposure doing? Can we see the island in the distance on both cameras? All right, so right now we're doing a quick dynamic range test. Let's see how the back of this lifeguard stand is exposed. And then we'll take a photo as well and see how that stacks up against the video HDR. All right, so we had a great time down at the beach here. Next and last, we're gonna do a low light test. So let's go back to the studio. We'll do that at our house. See you back there. Also, for those of you that noticed it, I've got a New backpack review coming tomorrow. Let's take a quick look here at night sight or night mode. Um, we don't really have it obviously for the RX model, but this has a pretty good aperture. One of the reasons I wanted this, the one inch sensor plus F1.8. Let's take a real dark example, because honestly the Pixel's so good at this mode. So first we're gonna show you the RX here. This is basically a little storage unit I have where some of my camera gear is. We're then gonna show you the Pixel here. After that, let's take a look at the Pixel with night mode. Wow. Yeah, it's really just night and day difference. So that's a huge advantage that you're gonna get with the Pixel. Mind you, it's only gonna work for stills. It won't do anything for video, but in general, you're gonna get pretty good low light performance. And I think a lot of that is thanks to the software they have on the Pixel. So in conclusion, we're really seeing that hardware versus software is starting to blur the lines of what you can fit into your everyday phone that you're gonna carry with you. The picture quality is still way better on the RX100. I think hands down, that's always gonna win whether you're doing stills or video, assuming you're stabilized. However, the stabilization, the convenience, and the battery life definitely wins on the Pixel. There is still a place for these cameras, and as of today, I'm still gonna carry this with me. So that's it guys, thanks for joining me today. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Lots of content, comparisons, tech reviews coming throughout 2019. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here today. See ya.